This GeoPeer construction video is directed primarily to the general contractor and to the developer or owner to explain some aspects of the GeoPeer soil reinforcement system in order to facilitate communications and prevent misunderstandings. It is also directed to the owner's geotechnical engineer to provide supplemental guidance on their role in performing quality assurance services on GeoPeer projects. The Licensed GeoPeer Installer the licensed GeoPeer installer is a specialized subcontractor who has been involved in GeoPeer design-built construction for several years. He designs a soil reinforcement system and has it reviewed and approved by GeoPeer Foundation Company Incorporated, the licensor. His design work may be done in-house or by full-time certified GeoPeer design associates. He develops construction documents, including project specifications, and he installs the stiff rammed aggregate pier system using three major pieces of equipment per crew. A drilling machine, an excavator with a modified hydraulic hammer connected to a special geopier tamper, and a skid steel loader used for placing aggregate in the holes and for moving spoil from the holes to a convenient location. The General Contractor. The general contractor's responsibilities in regard to the GeoPeer work are clearly spelled out in the contract documents and include the following specific requirements. Provide a site with a working platform to support the equipment of the GeoPeer installer. The site should not be fine graded. Locate and clear the site of any underground utilities and buried obstructions. Survey the GeoPeer locations and provide elevation information sufficient that the GeoPeer installer knows elevations at each GeoPeer location with an accuracy of two inches. Remove spoils from the pad. The GeoPeer installer will consolidate spoils on the pad, but the general contractor will remove spoil from the pad or reuse them on the site. Other general contractor responsibilities include providing a source of portable water for possible use for the GeoPeer installer to add moisture to the aggregate, providing electricity, providing truck and trailer access, and providing sufficient storage space to store enough aggregate for four days' work. The Owner's Geotechnical Engineer The geotechnical engineering firm of record, working for the owner, is normally responsible for the following. Providing subsurface information for conditions within the GeoPeer reinforced portions of the site. Providing a quality assurance representative at the site during installation of GeoPeer elements and during performance of any modulus load tests. Communicating closely with the GeoPeer installer's quality control representative so that both parties agree on the data obtained related to GeoPeer installations including verifying correct drilling depths, confirming GeoPeer installation procedures, and recording number of GeoPeer lifts. If any significant differences in subsurface conditions are encountered during drilling, this should immediately be brought to the attention of the GeoPeer installer and his QC representative. Providing later inspections of footing excavations to assure that exposed soils at bottoms of footings and the tops of GeoPeer elements are compacted properly with a handheld mechanical jumping jack type compactor. A sled type vibratory compactor is not satisfactory. Additionally, assuring that each footing excavation is inspected on the same day as the footing concrete is placed, that water has not ponded in footing excavations, and that the footing bottom conditions in GeoPeer tops have not been softened by water saturation or by other causes. A pre-GeoPeer construction conference should be held when the GeoPeer installer arrives at the site. The meeting should include the general contractor, the geotechnical firm of record with their quality assurance representative, and the licensed GeoPeer installer, including his quality control representative. Subjects that should be discussed include the QA-QC program and communications between the QA rep and the QC rep. Incidents that may occur that could temporarily stop production. 
location of aggregate storage and location of temporary spoil piles, protection of completed piers, footing construction schedule. After the GeoPier rammed aggregate pier is installed, the installer normally fills the void above the pier to the ground surface with some of the drill spoils to protect it from future precipitation. Later, the footing or mat is excavated to the pier top, usually cutting off several inches of pier that was purposefully built several inches higher than required. Although the pier is highly densified and made of durable aggregate, the excavation process loosens the upper several inches of the pier. For this reason, it is essential to compact the top of the pier and bottom of footing with a mechanical jumping jack type of handheld compactor. The process takes very limited time, perhaps two or three minutes for a 10-foot square footing. The compacted pier top and footing bottom should be inspected and improved in writing by the geotechnical engineering firm representing the owner. Percent compactions are not required. What is required is a verification that reasonable impact compacting energy was applied and that the geopier tops and footing bottoms are not weakened by saturation. In addition, the general contractor should take precautions in grading to prevent runoff waters from entering footing excavations. If the exposed pier is allowed to be saturated by precipitation prior to the footing or mat or slab being constructed, the upper portions will soften and cause some unnecessary settlement. For the geopier system to be fully effective, as with any foundation or ground modification system, the chain of events from design through construction of the supported structure needs to be well controlled. The event interval between completion of pier installation and construction of footings and mats is controlled by the general contractor. This is an important time for proper compaction of tops of piers and footing bottoms, for protecting footing bottoms from becoming water saturated and for inspecting footing bottoms immediately prior to placing concrete. After more than 10 years of marketplace activity, general contractors and owners have learned to appreciate the positive aspects of this patented technology, including simplicity, site friendliness, cost, and performance of completed structures. We at GeoPier look forward to working with you to provide an effective soil reinforcement solution for your project. If you have any questions, please call your nearest licensed GeoPeer installer. You may also visit our website or call GeoPeer Foundation Company 